Hey guys, in this video what we're going to do is show you how you can set up data validation uh, within your dashboard to show whether or not we have more than 12 months of data in our data set. If not, essentially we're going to show a green check mark and you'll see that I've created a little area that says graph may require altering if you have more months than 12 uh, or more than 12 months of data and then up at the top on the right just beside total sales area you'll see I have a check mark here uh, that is showing me that you know when we have uh, in this case we have less than 12 months of data so we're going to show no and we have a check mark um, and then if it is greater as we'll show in this case here by adding an additional record to our raw data set with another month. We'll just add a data set or a data point to our uh, our table in the month of October which doesn't currently exist. And once we do that and we go back over to our dashboard you'll see that an X shows up which means we've got if you count along the bottom of the axis here you'll see that we have 13 data sets or data points uh, of months and that's why we're showing that we have more than 12 months of data data and uh, we have a rec showing uh, that of course so if we take that out and we go delete and we go back you'll notice that we have less than or 12 we basically have 12 months of data so we uh, we're basically set up to go so in order to do this what I'm first going to do is add and insert uh, webding to check marks and an X. And what I'll do is I'll change that over to a standard font so I could see what characters those correspond to so that we can use them in an if statement. And we'll use the if statement to actually tell us whether or not we have more than 12 months of data. And uh, in each of the scenarios, we'll either, if it's false or true, we'll add this character and that's what's going to give us our X or our check mark. So this particular cell that we're looking at here that I'm changing to agent CFB font is going to be set to equal if D18 which is the cell beside it to the right of it is equal to no in quotations of course using the if formula then if we do not have more than 12 months of data the P is going to be actually be a check mark in webdings and the O with a little hat on it there is going to be a X so you'll see that right now because we're still uh, the font is still agency FB that it is showing up as the O you see that it's in red right now but I'm gonna clear the rules because I've already done this in this table I'm gonna clear the conditional format rule that was turning that red and you'll see now that we have a blank on the actual dashboard too. So let's change this over to webdings just so we have the actual check mark or the X and you'll see that that's an X right now because it, the the statement in that uh, cell is false or is true I'm sorry. So then we're gonna say if the count of the list of months as you can see as it gets highlighted there is greater than 12 so if I have greater than 12 months of data I'm gonna want this to show as no or I'm sorry yes and if we have less than 12 months of data we're gonna show it as no so you'll see that our other data validation in the cell to the left is saying if it's no then we're going to show a check mark or the value of P and then if it's no then we'll show the O with a symbol on it. So now if we go create a new rule on that specific cell we want it to be if it's equal to that O with a hat on it we're going to want to show it in the color uh, red Actually, that's the fill. We do not want the fill. We want the font to be red. So we're going to click OK.
and then our other rule under the cell is going to be if it's a P, the value given is a P. We're going to want to show the font color in green. So we'll select that and we'll hit OK. Alright, so now that we have that, we can test it by adding a record to our table, of course. And as we add this record, we'll pop back over to our calculation seat. Now you see that I forgot that I left that uh, fill red, so we'll go back into my conditional formatting when that value is equal to little hat. We're going to head over to the fill tab and I make it no color. I'll hit OK. And we should see this change. Perfect. So now we have that red X. We're going to name this field, put a name range to it called data warning. No equals required there. And then we'll go over to D18 as well and we'll say this is what the data message we'll name that name range data message for some reason it's frozen here so I'm just trying to play with it to get it to work and there we go finally I think there's still some glitches with Windows 10 for some reason but we're gonna type in data message in the name box I don't know what happened there too. Windows is acting really funny right now. So let's go back in there. We'll add data message. Okay, perfect. So now we've named that data message as you can see under the name box now. And if we go over to the dashboard, we're going to actually apply that. So we want the check mark to show up in this field. So we're going to type in equals data warning. Perfect. And then in this cell, to the right we're going to type in equals data message of course which is our name range so it's just going to refer to directly so now we've got our data validation displaying on our actual dashboard the X is being displayed as well so we remove our record and we go over to our dashboard you'll now see that that check mark becomes available as our data validation saying that we have less than 12 months of data as we add data to our table you'll see that uh, the X then becomes displayed just going to change this color and add the conditional formatting for that. I've already added all the conditional formatting for the green and red, uh, the green and red symbols to this cell. So that's why you're seeing that it's already working. And I'm just going to play with the uh, actual outline and the borders on this. So let's hit OK. That looks a little bit better. All right, so there you have it. That's how you use the WebDings font with the IF formula to build a data validation to tell you whether or not you have more than 12 months of data in your data set. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.